Jacob, mate, what are we driving today? It's a BMW iX. <laughs> and can you explain to everyone why you've been fired? Uh, because... Roll the tape. Bro, I wish I was joking, but I've just realised something. All the camera gear is in my car. Dude. Dude, Back in Melbourne. no. You are f***ing with me. You're f***ing with me. I'm not joking. We've just... We've just driven 150 kilometres. This is an electric car. There's nowhere to charge. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Yes, as you can see, we are back in our old filming location, as beautiful as ever. Turns out it's now a dumping ground for some people out there, but that's all right because the environment, it's the topic of today's video. Obviously behind me is the BMW iX. This is the xDrive 50, which means it's top of the range, at least for now. There is an M60 version coming, which frankly, Jacob, I can't believe because this thing is insane. So today we're gonna to answer three questions about the all new BMW iX, BMW's flagship luxury electric SUV. One, is this thing worth just under 200,000 Australian dollars drive away? Two, is this thing beautiful, violent? Ooh and uh, electricity. Did you come up with that title? I did, because uh, oh. it's an electric car. And that's another reason Look why it you're up. fired. Look it up. And then three, we're gonna tell them about today's sponsor, driver.com.au, yay! Trusted by me, Jacob, and 150, thousand other Australians. That's a lot of Australians, Jacob. So all you have to do is using the link in the description below or the pinned comment, head to driver.com.au. There you can compare the absolute best financing deals for any new or used car. Jacob, where should they go? Driver.com.au. Click the link in the description. There you go. Do it. Let's get into the review. <laughs> Now, as always, I want to start with the front of the BMW iX. And yeah, there is a lot going on here. Not everyone is going to like it, but actually, I really like it, Jacob. Thoughts? I think it's so cool. I think it's really cool. I would even go so far as to say beautiful in its own way. You've got these really cool LED headlights here. They are super duper bright as well. Look, you got the BMW badge there, but it's not just any BMW badge. Look, it's where you refill the water. Putting that aside, you've got a kidney grill here, which some hate, some love. I actually kind of like it, and behind it are all the driver aid sensors, and boy, can this thing essentially just drive itself, as we'll see. It is also completely blocked up because electricity. You don't need to cool an engine. This is all blocked up here as well, but you do have some functional aero to help streamline air over the side of the car, and this thing does have a very good drag coefficient. Not that I know what that means, because I ain't no engineer. Let's talk about the side. Coming to the side, and to be honest, I don't think there's much going on there. It's a giant blob because of aerodynamics. Dynamics. everything just has to be as aerodynamic as possible and therefore it's a little bit boring but it does have these optional 22 inch wheels here they are pretty cool and they come wrapped in better Bridgestone Atenza rubber than the low rolling profile tires that you get on the 20 inches as standard and as you'll see that's really important when it comes to performance otherwise yeah there's just not much going on you got your 360 camera there in the wing mirror you got pretty cool door handles but again it's just it's essentially just a hole Again, for aerodynamics. Oh, and how could I forget this? The iX badge. But, I don't know, man. It's a little bit boring from the side. What do you reckon? I think it looks nice and sleek and minimalist. Minimalist. I'd give it that. Let's talk about the back. So, coming to that badonkadonk of the iX, what do I think? Are you asking me what you think? You first. I think the tail lights look really cool. The tail lights do look really cool. They're really slim and they're like literally just a line, but yet they look pretty damn awesome. IX badge there, ooh, blue around the BMW badge. That's to signify it's electric. You wouldn't know otherwise, would you, Jacob? Oh, you wouldn't have a clue. Wouldn't have a clue. X Drive 50, as I said, this is the top spec you can get at the moment. There is an M60 coming. Let me know if you want me to review that. And by the way, Jacob, you know what they should definitely do? What should they definitely do? They should do? subscribe Dancing Babies. Dancing babies everywhere. Down the bottom, you have a pretty meaty diffuser because look here, where there would otherwise be exhaust on most cars, you've just got some Nürburgring inspired diffusers. I like it, man. I really like the way that this thing looks. Okay, so here's another place where this thing is just beautiful. Check it out. It is stunning in here. Jacob, initial thoughts. Airy airy. I'd give it that too, because they're going for this minimalist look. Now, this is actually built on the cluster architecture, which is shared with the X5, for example, so they couldn't do too much, but what they've done is actually quite a lot. So, you get soft touch materials absolutely everywhere. This is optioned with the vegan leather. Don't worry, your cow lovers, you can still get it with leather. Wouldn't it be like cow 
non-lovers. Oh, yeah, yeah, it would be count. You cow criminals. Also the design, as Jacob said, minimal. You have so much open space. You've got a low slung dash. You've got heaps of leg room here. You can even put your leg through there if you wanted to. You've got this open kind of floating center console there too. A couple of cup holders down there, a wireless charger, two USB-C ports and a 12 volt socket. This one is also optioned with the crystal touches to the interior. So you've got the most beautiful center console here with like this wood finish in the center. Oh, it feels so nice. Oh, you having fun there? It's like a fidget spinner for very rich people. Even the seat controls, which now are up here, Thanks Mercedes, great idea. They are in a crystal too, but it's like a gold crystal. So, oh, it just looks stunning. It like sparkles in the light. But let's talk about some of the other massive changes. So you get iDrive 8 right in front of you. This is such a good system. On the left-hand side, you have a massive infotainment display that is super duper functional, very responsive to the touch as well. You can also use the iDrive controller down here with the beautiful crystal on it. And that works just as well, if not better, especially while you're driving. You've also got wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, which is always awesome to see. Up in front of you, you get the new digital instrument cluster. Again, one of my my favorites now because again it's just super super intuitive you can go through a bunch of different content you can change the layout however you really want and you also get a massive heads up display in front of you it's like having a high definition 65 inch display it's pretty cool i really really like it and there are some other insane touches like for example this roof here with a press of a button it unshades it uses electricity to spark electro electrodes. I don't even know how it works. I'm not gonna to pretend to know how it works. However it works, it's bloody cool. Even down to these seats. Now, yes, this is the vegan leather and it kind of feels like vegan leather because it just doesn't quite feel right to the touch. Having said that, it's a very good adaptation, especially if you wanna go for that eco-friendly vibe like all millennials and Gen Zers, like you and me, Jacob. We are part of that group. We are part, I'm sorry. I want to apologize on behalf of our generation. Good. Good job. Thank you. We also need positive affirmation after, after everything Reparations we do. and affirmations. But yeah, it's really nice. You've got massage functions in these ones and you can adjust them in any which way possible. So I've been really enjoying sitting in these. Also, other material choices, cloth. Oh, I hate the feeling of that for some reason, but it's a pretty nice glove box felt lined and quite a bit of storage in there anyway. You've also got, look, this center armrest that opens all luxuriously and that's got heaps of storage in there too. Oh, how could I forget? I was it's, about to say. It's staring right at me. This absolute unit <laughs> of a steering wheel. It looks like it's straight from a concept car, which is a pretty good thing, I think. It does look weird, but it feels awesome to hold onto. You have these buttons to control pretty much everything. But again, going for that minimalist design, yet you don't really have to take your hands off the steering wheel to navigate this interior. Last thing before I forget, Harman Kardon sound system sounds, oh, I don't know what the German word for bellissimo is, a bellissimo, but whatever the equivalent is, that's what that is. I lied, there's so much more to talk about, but I'm gonna quickly run through it. Door handles, they're now a button. Don't worry, if you get stuck, you've got a door release under here, and that works just as well, apparently. Jacob, we forgot the dream catcher. <laughs> Get me the dream catcher. Chuck this water bottle out, cause that's generic shit. Fits Jacob's dream catcher water bottle in there perfectly fine. Not the most amount of storage, but it's still a decent amount. Okay, so what about the back seat? Well, Jacob, honestly, there's still so much to talk about. So guys, if I forget something, please just leave it in the comment section below because there's just so many features as you would kind of expect on a car that costs this much. For example, I forgot to mention, Frameless windows. First BMW SUV with frameless windows. And you would think that that would affect how quiet it is within here, but oh my God, this is the quietest place I have ever sat. Quietest car ever. And we're coming from the Hyundai yeah, Palisade. Yeah, we're coming from the, the top end Palisade. So yeah, do with that as you will. Now I'm five foot 10, I have heaps of legroom. Heaps of headroom there too. And tow room is actually pretty good, which is not something you see on many EVs because usually because the batteries live under there, they raise the floor up, but it's pretty good. Couple of USB-C ports in each seat. That's pretty awesome. You've also got this sliding area here. Seriously, there's actually, look, there's a train behind me and it's quiet. Did you not know? I had to look, cause you looked away. No joke. 
so impressive. That's with the door open as well. You've got a little hidey hole area here and there you can put in like a tablet holder or some sort of accessory I'm sure they're gonna wanna sell you. Maybe a subscription service. <laughs> Look, map pockets here. You've also got quad zone climate control. You can control each side from the back individually and then more vegan leather. Actually, it feels quite nice back here. Very soft and scrumptious. And I love how it kind of extends all the way to the end. That's how you know that this is a luxury car, Jacob. Look, center armrest, Ooh. button, Ooh. German over engineering, unlike your water bottle, which is very simple. Look at that. How easy is that? Very easy. Jacob, you see how on the back the tail light kind of still is on the back moving panel? Yeah. Well, you kind of understand what I mean anyway. If I press this, you can see the tail lights, they go up. But what they have to have as part of regulations is tail lights on the back on a non-fixed thing. So they've got extra lights behind the lights to be able to project out. That's kind of cool. You can also see here the exposed carbon. That's because this thing is wrapped in carbon fiber to help to reduce the weight. I think they call it cocooned in carbon fiber. But it still weighs 2.5 tons, Jacob. <laughs> this thing is so heavy. And the fact that it can accelerate as quickly as it does I'm actually scared of other humans driving this. Me too. I'm genuinely afraid. But once you open the back, you can see you get plenty of space back there, or at least it's enough. It's not class leading in any way, but you could still fit like two large suitcases in there. Absolutely fine. You can also have some underfloor storage, quite a massive amount there too. You've got a cargo net there if you want to use that. And this is also where your charging cables live. We'll talk about that in a second, but even with those in there, you still get plenty of room. And then if you want to put down the back seats, you just press these pull these two buttons here these seats electronically fold forward and then yeah you get acres of space so it's all pretty impressive and yeah of course it's got an automated tailgate too and then in terms of battery you've actually got a pretty big one 105.2 kilowatt hours that is a just a giant battery jacob but it does mean that you will spend a bit of time charging if you use this trickle charger here it'll take about 50 hours from from zero not the quickest. That's why you definitely want to install a fast a fast charger at your home between seven to 11 kilowatt hours. And then it only takes what, like 11 hours to charge up this thing? From zero, to be fair, and most people don't get to zero before they get home. And then if you want to use, ooh, DC fast charging, you can do up to 200 kilowatt, which isn't the fastest in the world, but for the segment, it's actually second fastest. But that's okay, it'll get you to 100% in something like 35 minutes. So that's pretty decent. I like it. So because the iX is actually based on the cluster architecture like the X5, you can't actually open the bonnet. There is no storage underneath there. It's just, I don't know, air conditioning condenser, things like that. But because of consistency, we're still gonna talk about the specs from the front. So as I said, this is the X-Drive 50, which at the moment is top of the range. It means you get a front and a rear motor. Combined, you get an insane 385 a kilowatt of power, 765 newton meters of instant torque. And Jacob, is that fast? It's bloody fast. In fact, let's launch this thing and see just how quick this is to 100 kilometers an hour. Okay, friends, so now we're gonna launch the iX Drive 50. Yes, we are. It's actually iX X Drive 50. Don't forget the extra X. So BMW claim that this will do 0 100 in 4.7 seconds. What do you reckon it's gonna do? 4.8. Ooh, I think it's gonna do 4.3. You know something I don't. Yeah, that's what you always think. That's what I think. I'm gonna change my guess. Okay. 4.6. Don't know why we shook hands, but I'll take every opportunity I can to shake hands with you, friend. I'll take every opportunity I can to touch you. Oh, jeez. Let's go. Thank God you're fired. Okay, friend, fist me, fist me hard. I'm scared. Oh. oh, it's right in between us. Oh, no, did I say 4.4? You said 4.3. I'm a liar. Zero to 100 in 4.44 seconds. Things it's quick, a little man. bit closer to your, to your guess. I know. But that is very quick. Let's drive this thing normally. All right, friend, time to drive. Let's do it. We're gonna put the car into Sport mode, ooh. Shall we quickly just talk about the other modes because they're so dumb. We got efficient, that's not dumb. That's like eco mode. That's what you want. And there is off. expressive where it plays sounds and also uh, creates a light show with the ambient lighting in here. Wow. Then we have relax. When you need to take a chill pill. Oh, put on the massage seat. 
Oh, it did put on the massage seat. But we don't need that. We want sport mode. Turn it off. Are you ready, friend? I think so. It's a little loud. Oh. Oh, I'm dizzy. Hans Zimmer, you always come in at the opportune moments and play your little jingle, don't you? Hans bloody Zimmer. Look, man, I'm not gonna lie. This thing's quick. This thing's fast. For a two and a half ton SUV, or SUV, as you prefer to call it. I do. Mamma Mia, a pizzeria. This thing is insane. Now, do you notice that it's not quite as calm in here, one might say. <laughs> I'm not feeling as relaxed as I, as I was before. No. And part of the reason for that is when we're in sport mode, the air suspension and its adaptive dampers just become a little bit more sporty, one might say. So, while we're not getting up to our original saucy corner, because we're back in the old filming location, because Jacob is now fired, put it back into personal. I'm not sure why it's personal because it's not like I can actually change any of it, but that's okay. It's calm. It's so comfortable. So comfortable. So nice. And it's pretty damn quiet in here. The I'm only shocked. thing I can hear is your voice. And I'm sorry about that. The steering wheel kind of slackens off when you're back into this personal mode. And it's such a nice ride. Not to mention with the amount of driving safety systems in here, this thing just drives itself. What more is there to say? That's it. End review. <laughs> Go home. Let's give it some sauce. Oh, bit of body roll there. <laughs> okay, yeah, look. <laughs> thing is no joke. Oh, no joke. Now, it is an EV, so it has regenerative braking. We can put on one pedal driving by going down here, using this little shifter, going into B. And then we let go and we come to a stop. It also uses the sensors up front to help with the adaptive braking, which you can turn on. That's a pretty cool system. It's just so much tech in these cars, man. So much to go wrong. But the benefit of having electric motors is that they've only got one moving part in each. That's, yeah, that's simple. Way so more the, simple the than an engine. The motors are more reliable, but there's a lot more tech that goes with it, so. Thanks for summing that up, bro. You could be a, in summary. You could be a school teacher now that you've been fired. I'll look into that. Should we give it some twisty sauce? If you want. It's not quite as good as the other place, is it? It's not. Oh, Hans Zimmer, you make me happy in my bimmer. <laughs> oh, how does it handle? How does it handle? Oh my oh, God. a lot of body roll. Yeah, it's not a, uh, it's not a small infant, is it? No. See, in this regard, the i4, is a bit better. Yeah, but that's like it. And price. That's about it, yeah. It is 80 grand cheaper. Oh God, look where we are, friend. Oh, we're at this spot. We're at the original saucy corner. The home of my nightmares. Tickle my little pickle. Uh, oh my God, bro, <laughs> the G-force. Oh, 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 understeer. Oh my God. Uh, 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 oh my god. Uh, uh, oh my god, the body roll. Uh, yeah, it just it is lacking in that one area. I tell you what, it did pretty well, but I was not surprised when I looked at the speedo. You know what I mean? Whereas in some in cars way. I look, I'm like Damn, that's way faster than yeah, I thought fell, we were It going. fell fast, yeah. yeah. The instant talk, man. Exactly. Oh. It just took the words right out of my mouth. And Hans Zimmer tickling my little pickle. Keep there. on zimming, Hans. <laughs> you zim hard. This is the ultimate test, though, bro. The roundabout test. <laughs> oh. All right. Should we get into our final thoughts? I think so. Okay, Jacob, so what are our final thoughts on the new BMW iX? Quick summary. I wanna keep it. 
that's a very quick summary. I'm gonna keep it too, man. This thing is sick. The exterior, I think, looks really, really cool. The interior is second to none. Plus, it feels beautiful inside. Anyway, I could go on for days. The way that this thing drives is actually very, very good. It's definitely more luxury car than sports car, but I'm guessing that's what the M60 is gonna be for. And again, guys, let me know if you want me to review that when it comes to Australia. Overall, I think actually for its price, it feels like a $200,000 car. And, and honestly, it's as simple as that. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section, just below that like button. Again, if you guys are looking to buy any sort of car, click the link below and compare the best finance deals. If not for me, do it for yourself. Thank you guys very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you next week. Ciao for now.